I was cleaning this up, getting ready to take it over and hook it up to the sand battery. But thing, this thing is so freaking heavy. I mean, it's like a tank, and I wasn't sure that I wanted to get it over. I mean, I was going to do it, but then I decided that this would be much better because I've been needed to rebuild this anyway. So I've been cleaning it out. It was full, full of greenhouse supplies, fans, pumps. Down here was a concrete mixing tub. This particular design was one of my first ones that came up with this idea of using the water as a heat reservoir. As a water reservoir. There's the old fish tank heater, same system I have in the uh, germinating deal. Wiring. This I spent a lot of time building this one. Gonna put all these starter plants in here. Gonna repair this broken door. The wind got it and busted it up. Clean it all up and uh, hooking it up to the sand battery. So I had a little ducting for my wires for the pump and the heater. And these wires were for AC adapters for these DC fans. So back then I didn't know about connecting the fans directly to the solar panels. She's a beauty. Some heavy duty material, quarter inch, double ply. So I cleaned it all out. Originally, the two fans on the swamp cooler hooked up right here with this adapter. 1.5 amp, I think it is, or something. 1.25 amp. 12 volt DC. And I have a, a heater right here. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is take this loose and run the pipe through here into here. I had an adapter here. And an extension cord would come through here. The head of the extension cord would just rest right there and you plug it into the extension cord and that would power everything. That was before I, I, I realized I could run everything direct solar or most things. This was a really cool component I found. The, the thermostat, thermostatically controlled switch designed specifically for computer fans. For like under your desk, under your computer. Coming along. So that bottom pipe lined up pretty close to my electrical duct pipe I had there. So that worked out nicely. Also, I'll cover this all up with plastic or I was gonna get a roll of tar paper and I'll put the side on here that I never finished. <laughs> I'll get that on tomorrow or soon anyway. I gotta repair this door, so it's gonna be a day or two before I get this completed. 